Hello humans and pets. Today is the 4th of July. So it, whether you're celebrating or not, happy 4th of July. Yeah, so it could happy. be the independence. It could be 5th, depending on where you are in the world. So maybe you're a day late. Time zones and stuff, you know? But um, it's an American holiday, so we're celebrating it. With what? No, nope, not hot dogs. No, no we're not. Nathan's. We don't got nothing like that. We got Subway. Had we thought about it, we, we, we could have did something like a Nathan's hot dog challenge just for fun. We thought about doing one, yeah. but of course they don't have any Nathan's anywhere near us. But we could have did a bar rest challenge, and they, but we didn't think about it until last minute. So yeah. it, it is what it is. So instead, we're going to fill our faces with Subway Eat Fresh. So apparently they got 12 new subs in the Subway series collection. Um, that's what they're going with. Um, they got... I don't remember the names. It doesn't say the name. You want them on my phone, or it, it, will it have it? It doesn't. Uh, yeah. One of them was like a steak and cheese. I think it was the monster. Yep. Uh, one for was a, a twelve ninety nine. A garlic. One was eleven forty nine. It was the garlic chicken. Garlic chicken. Right. We tried to get some other chicken one, but they didn't have it. Uh, we have done a. You can take off now. We have done a steak and cheese in the past, uh, but again, it's this new. Let's right there, there yeah, right there. Oh, that works. Um, we got the monster, which is the number three: steak, peppers, onions, uh, yeah, cheese, to bacon, tub corn ranch, and it's toasted. Um, that's. We're trying to get the Mexicali. Right, that's the one we tried to get. It doesn't have the one we got, but of course, the other one, the, the other chicken, right. the girl, like. Well, one. you gotta open it up because. But uh, uh, yeah, it says twelve new irresistible subs, uh, part of the Subway series. You want to get down go eat the food? I can eat. We just got home, so someone was missing us. He was not happy. Yeah, he was missing us. Well, he was happy. He's happy we're home, but he's home. not going to want to leave us right now. Okay. All right, you got to open both of them. So we got and, the cheese bread. And they did not have the, our have favorite have bread. Either. Yeah. It was kind of a fiasco. Yeah, i got to be honest with you. It was a little bit... Uh, they were missing the uh, multigrain, the hoodie multigrain. So um, we got the cheese. It's not a very good looking sandwich so far, Ryan. What do you mean? It looks delicious. No, it looks weak as hell. That one looks all right. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, take them <laughs> off, I said. <laughs> um, I'll take the better halves of these. Okay. Yeah, get them. So, if you look here, we got the chicken bacon. Now, we went to a subway we don't normally go to. Oh, we, we had to run to somewhere, and this steak, was on the way home. The number three. This steak looks relatively weak at best. Yeah, the steak ain't looking too good. No. But we'll see. Maybe it's really good. We went to a subway we never go to, so... Okay. And I was telling Ryan that they, they, they she was the, the person that was working was like going back and looking like what was supposed to be in the things and everything. So it took I'm not expecting bit. much. It was if we were to there. Be ready at fifty. Um, it was ready at the next hour. But yeah. yeah. What are you right. only you trying to try to steak one? Steak? Yeah, it's the number three one. All right. We added banana peppers and jalapenos to both. I did say we should have shot up the D'Angelo's instead, but. I don't think yeah. they had anything new there. Peppers are good. Mm -hmm. But this is the reason why I used to never get a steak and cheese anywhere. Because mm -hmm. it was always the weakest on the menu. Yeah. And it makes sense. Steak costs money. Mm -hmm. Get lots. Even though you pay more for it. I don't remember. I think we did a steak and cheese from these guys one time before, and I don't remember what we thought. What do you think about this one? It tastes good. It's not the best sandwich I've ever had. No, well, the bread's kind of sad. 
the steak itself, like when you get a steak and cheese, it usually has that same flavor, especially when you have like onions and peppers and stuff in it. Mm. This is uh, right down there with one of the worst ones we've had out of all the places to me. It's not a lot of flavor. You know, we had more, like no cheese. there's more steak flavor out of the mushroom one when we, that we had at Jimmy John's than there is out of this. Like you don't get it, when you bite into this, if you had your eyes closed, would you know you're eating a steak and cheese? I wouldn't even get meat. No. Mm. Tastes like ground hamburger on this. That's what I'm saying. It, it's not... I mean, let's put it this way. When I made you Steakums the other day... Steakums is so good. It at least gives you that steak flavor. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it has more flavor and mm. taste with the onions and everything. Like, this is kind of very bland to me. Wow. In fact, if you didn't add... The jalapenos and the banana peppers. I'd be fine right now. This sandwich would be would be terrible. You know what I mean? That honestly, that's the only thing that's saving the sandwich. Would I still eat it? She put a bunch of yeah. hot peppers on it. But thirteen bucks is not it mm -hmm. for this. Um, it's a notch. When you look back to like the D'Angelo's one or that uh, that other one we did, yeah, or Regatta Deli. Regatta Deli. Go check out that this one. This doesn't dude. compete at all. It's it's actually, it wouldn't be bad. There is very little steak in it. Yeah. But wouldn't be bad if the steak was seasoned. had a flavor at all. Any like kind of season. Even salt cheese and pepper. With the steak. Mm -mm. Yeah, it wasn't much, though. It wasn't a lot of cheese. Um, and the, there's only so much you can do when you don't cook the steak with the onions and peppers. Right. And you don't cook the steak with the cheese. But there's no flavor, right? There's nothing. When you can't even add. taste the cheese, right? You're missing right. it. Well, I got you. This one looks more promising. I had a feeling though. Yeah, this one almost looks like a grinder. That one was tiny. Yeah. A couple little chunks fell out. Just gonna munch on it. Mm. This one got a garlic aioli. Remember? Well, even a little chunk of chicken that flew out had like a little garlic flavoring on it. Without the garlic aioli, I think it would be not good. The chicken needs more pizzazz, but it's definitely garlicky. Yeah, right. And this time they actually seasoned the bread. Last sandwich didn't have no seasoning; it was just cheese. Mm -hmm. This one got the seasoning on it. I like the bacon. Mm -hmm. I, I, the only thing I'll agree with you with is is the chicken. You get that. It's only one note when it's garlic. Because it that's all you get is the garlic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I think it might even be better with, like, like, like a nice rotisserie chicken so you have all the flavors on it. And then have some some kind of a garlic sauce and or like the garlic chips it just like tastes like hooked chicken mm -hmm. with the aioli, which isn't bad because mm -hmm. aioli is good. They need more of it for me, though. I was going to say, I definitely, like, to me, it brings me back to my buddy's uh, sister. Used to be married to a Lebanese, and they used to make this garlic chicken, and it had this white dipping garlic sauce that was, like, just straight 100% garlic. Mm -hmm. And it was so good. You wouldn't have no friends because your breath smelled like a dragon, but... You could just, just douse the chicken yeah. in it. It was so good. So to, the, the garlic itself, like I would have liked a little more sauce on it. I like this one though. That being said, this one sure beats the last of the steak and cheese one. I get At it least there's more flavor. In and it's one. cheaper. Yeah. So I definitely get it again. I would have, this was our second choice. I would have rather had the other one mm. because... The combination of all the stuff on there sounded better to me. 
Yeah. Um, but I'm not disappointed with this one. Mm -mm. That being said, like this doesn't compete to that southwestern one we had from like uh, uh, D'Angelo's that day. Mm. Remember the one with the, the corn salsa and stuff? Yeah, that the D'Angelo one was really good. That was good. crazy. Yeah, that was really good. We got good. the steak one, which was good. Yeah, that was really good. We, yeah, got, we got the like the number nine or the bomb or it whatever was it was. The bomb, the steak bomb. Mm -hmm. And then we had, yeah, we had the taco one, which mm -hmm. I was not expecting to be that good, but it was so mm -hmm. good. And no, because the seat, their chicken was seasoned perfectly. It had like a corn salsa on it. It was actually really good. It was like all the stuff that would be in a good burrito, like but most, in a grinder. Yeah, but in a sub bowl. Mm -hmm. So overall, though, you got a decent garlic flavor out of this one. So yeah, what it, what what they were shooting for, they hit. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to be a vampire eating this thing. You definitely get a good garlic. Uh, no, so if you're not a garlic person, you just is. I mean, not even vampires garlic. would like that, but you can't eat garlic, right? You like disintegrate, or is that the sun? I don't know. The only thing I'm not a vampire, I promise. Yeah, the only thing, like you said, with the when you eat just the chicken, it's really lame. It, it's this, this. You know what it is? We, 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 I guess I wrecked it for them anyways, because I mean, there's very few times we eat just the meat. Like, uh, we season everything. We well, put some kind of a I flavor think most in. people will season stuff. And if you don't try it, maybe some pepper here and there. Try some salt. Well, leave a comment down below. But, because like, your mother's like that. Aside. If she's cooking something, seriously, if she cooks something, she just leaves it. She never puts anything on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she just wants, if she wants Even chicken. Even if you drown it in an old Sometimes, bag, like, when we... Better. You know what I mean? She does marinate stuff when we're cooking on a grill. But sometimes, she'll be like, just leave mine plain. Because she doesn't want... Like, we might put shakers on everything. But if you, know you know grew what I mean? up eating that, I, I guess... I did. Well, you were the one that hated it. Mm-hmm. So you seasoned it. But if you grew up enjoying it... And I guess, I guess, yeah. And not knowing yeah. there was such thing as seasonings... Yeah, but I feel like a lot of people do season it now. I think we just know a lot of people who don't. Mm. I'll be curious because a lot of times, even even like if I'm cooking a, a frozen hamburger patty, you know what I mean? Just something quick. Yeah. I still hit it with something just to give it a different flavor so it's just not plain. You know what I mean? I right. just, I don't know. I mean, we season, no matter what it is, I, I throw it on there, so. I'm going to say... Um, overall experience, pretty good. Are we factoring the fact that we stood there for <laughs> the a half an hour? The time was kind of sad. If we're factoring that, my thing goes down. Overall, for the sandwich, this, this one was much better. The steak one wasn't horrible, but it was it was definitely, I, I don't think out of a 10, I'd give it a 5. It was I'd average. give it like a 3. I'd give it an, it, it wasn't was an enough meat, no. and You're nothing right. on it blended together. I agree. Um, at least chicken and bacon goes well together. Forget about the ranch. Put that garlic aioli on it. Go like five stripes next time we come through. But you, but you, you know what? In, in in their defense, I mean, it is a quick thing, and I agree with you a hundred percent. I mean, you're not going to get any of that flavor if they don't. I mean, I don't know how Jimmy John, Jimmy John's did it. Jimmy we, John's, it wasn't it Jimmy John's when we went to? Oh no, it was Jersey Mike. Who had the portobello? Was it Jersey, Jersey Mike? Had the portobello, but I'm now sure do they, they have a grill? I think they make. I it never for went order. in there. They make it for order. But is it like already done up? Like. I think they make or it. Or do they have an actual grill? I think they have a, a whole restaurant. Well, you went and got the food. I don't know. I've never like, been in. You can sit down. It's kind of like a way back type of thing. Right, like, but, but it makes a difference. What I'm trying to get at is. I mean, they cook the food stuff here too. <laughs> but it's it's probably. At this place, the stuff's already cooked. It's laying in bins in front of you. It's like the chicken. And they just pick it up. Of and subs. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm. You just walk in, get food, and walk out. I mean, when we had the porta, when we had the, 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 even the steak and cheese from them was really good. Actually, we had a chicken steak and cheese from, for, from them that was actually phenomenal. It tasted like a steak and cheese. Remember they yeah. had a chicken one? No, from Jersey Mike's. 
or, or Jimmy John's. It was one. I think it was Jersey I Mike's. Jimmy John's. I think it was Jersey Jimmy Mike's. John's is the one that. No, I think it was Jersey Mike's. Schedule. We had the chicken steak and cheese. It was a chicken and cheese, like it was, and it tastes like steak and cheese. We had a portobello mushroom one one time, and we had a regular steak. And I cheese. think so. Yeah, and they were actually really really good. Mm. But I'm, I'm assuming they had to have put it on a grill at one point and sauteed the onions and the peppers and I'm everything. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they do it with. I might be wrong. I think they do it per order. With these guys. Don't have access to that. It's like you know McDonald's, I mean? how they like pre cook the food. Right. Versus Mooyah. Where they burn the food. Where they overcook the food. <laughs> right. But at least they put the effort in. Yeah. Um, no, it, they put the effort in in the morning and whenever they're about to run out of something. Sure. But they always have, because in their defense, I mean, I worked there when I was 14 at Big Burger King, but it was 14 years old. I mean, you have to keep. A st to keep the steady flow of people, you have to be like one or two sandwiches and ahead. Some subway people take the longest time making subs. Yeah. Well, the the girl we had today was was she a rookie. Was nice. she, and in she was in, in 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 her defense, I guess someone didn't want to go up to the tape thing. We, we were waiting and we were waiting and we were waiting. Yeah. Then we finally walk in and she's like, "Oh, we don't have the bread." So I'm like, "Oh, you got to be kidding me!" I'm like, "So you didn't even make them? Like we are finally ready to go?" And, yeah. and she's like, "No, we didn't have the bread." So. Uh, it is what it is, but yeah. overall, the chicken one wasn't bad. The steak one, I would never get again. That was certainly not worth. Uh, that wasn't worth eight dollars. Never mind thirteen. That was like no meat. Was. But no. meat is increasing in price. But that's not a good excuse. Bring back the five dollar. Um, no, the you know, not even the fact that it didn't have a lot of. It, it didn't have a, it didn't have a lot of flavor either. Not even the amount that was in it. It was just bland. It was like the it was like the old chicken sandwiches we had, where they were just there was no flavor. They just didn't it was, salt it pepper was, it even. It, 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 yeah, it was literally like boiled chicken. That's it. And that it, this one didn't have a lot of garlic either by itself. It was basically the chicken. You with, just gotta with, hope your bite's good. You gotta hope you get the aioli on it. Yeah. Um, it, it was kind of like when they did that buffalo one. Remember. If it was plain boiled chicken, or yeah. if you got it with the buffalo sauce, it was okay. That I mean, way. that's so. the thing where, like, Subway is probably best when you're in there ordering person to person and doesn't really go well with the app. And why I say that. Well, you know what, though? We, because we, we did go to a, a, a Subway that was in a Walmart, so that, that might have a difference. We did go to a Walmart we, we went because we were there. But it shouldn't make a difference, first it, of all. It's not supposed to. It but should be better since it gets more foot traffic. We didn't, we didn't go to a normal but, place, so. You can ask how many, they normally ask, like, is this enough where they swipe it? You know, so it's like, normally it's like one or two swipes of the sauce. Say, and then you're like, yo, give me like 18 swipes of that. And they're like, you kidding me? And yeah, because now you have an actually saucy burger. Because they never put enough on. Yeah. Maybe for people they put too much, but I could just... Yeah, yeah overall, it was okay. It wasn't worth the... It was still better than uh, Firehouse Subs, the one we did. The meatball. Well, we didn't have to drive quite as far either. Firehouse Subs is a long way away. It's a long ways away. But I still think that it wasn't... No. It's better. No, I, again, I, I mean, it, it's just... I I think we said it on the last steak and cheese that we got from Subway that it was just okay. You know what I mean? It wasn't anywhere that I would go back. Yeah. And I, the only thing I'm bumming about is because I just said to him the better. other day, we got to find another place where the steak and cheese. So we haven't had one in a long time. And now that we found one, for this, this one. was just not what I was looking for. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's like, I mean, you know, it would be better if there was more, but would it? Like, no, no, really that wouldn't have been because meat. it just was still bland. I think more of the meat would have helped. Yeah. But it was... It was still bland. I mean, yeah. if you look at the two sandwiches side by side, besides, this was like this big, and this was we like did get this them toasted. Big. If you're wondering, curious, it, you know what I mean? Like it, it, it even looked like it was an inferior sandwich just by looking at it. Well, it also didn't have the bacon, chicken, tomato. It didn't have half the stuff. Well, that was why I said it was kind of one note because it really didn't have anything else. And like yeah. you said, even the peppers that they put on there because they didn't put onions in there. I don't think they no, they were yeah, uncooked. Least, I think. But they were everything's uncooked. They just added them after the fact. Yeah. It's not like you sauteed them up with it. Because it's nothing better than sauteed onions. Ryan says it all the time. I love onions. Especially when I season them up. We, we can just I mean, eat onions are good too. I can just eat onions. We can just eat onions though. When you sauté them up with any kind I of onions I bought onions like that, the other day. You did. 10 pounds of them. 10 pounds of onions. So. Love onions. Just num 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 yeah. the, the onions. Well, there you go. Happy 4th of July. Sorry we spent it complaining about the food we just ate. But you it know what? This is, their, this is their new food. Right. And... 
This one. This is like one of the things in the twelve. That's why I think the other chicken sandwich had a lot more going on with it. We might have liked it better. The garlic one. The irresistible subways, subway series uh, estimated established 2022. It's new. Um, we tried the three and the miscellaneous. See, look what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It, it, that looks so good. See, we tried to get this one, and this one had a lot more stuff going on. I well, was hoping that was going to be, and yeah, I was hoping I was going to be, on that, one, but I yeah, but that looks so much better than one. No, and, and, but that's, but that's, that's what, what it always is. You know what I mean? You, you get half of it's probably not even real food. So, yeah. so, all right. Well, there you go. Happy 4th of July. Yeah. Uh, happy. Hope Subway you're day. enjoying your family or whatever you guys are doing for today yeah. and, uh, eating hot dogs. We should have did the hot dog challenge. It would have been cheaper and it would have been funnier. But maybe next year. We'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe they're even eating hot dogs right now as we speak. Right. Are they? Who? No, it's not. It's not the 4th of July. It is for you. Well, it will be. It will be when, maybe when this comes on. Well, no, they do it at noontime on the 4th. I, I was, yeah. So it already, they would Unless have already. Unless you're watching ate. the rerun, because some families do that, where they like stay up all night mm -hmm. watching the Super Bowl, and then they watch the rerun of it. I'd have to put my money on Joey Chestnut. I think he's won the last 14 out of 15 years or something like that. There was only Matt Stone. He beat him once out of the last 10 years. think he's going to get a years. record? That's what I'm curious Well, the funny about. thing is every year he's gotten two more than he did the previous year. Yeah, so I think I, he's going to get up like to, 22 more. I think he's up to 76 seven, right seven. now. I think that's I what he did last hundreds. year. No, I think he did 76 last year. What was the eating competition where they ate hundreds or something? Oh, I don't know. They ate donut holes. They ate like, they, they ate like 200 and that. something. Yeah. I could, I would yeah. eat, disappear yeah. after that yeah, one. They, they, I, they're, they, they're all of them are impressive. I think, they're crazy. I think the f food eaters yeah. and competitive eaters and they, drinkers are probably the most impressive sport in history. Because I could not have the brain to do it. Well, the guy who lives so that dedicated. actually teaches at Bay Path that, or that lives I think a, in Oxford, Massachusetts, actually won the donut hole eating contest. And I think he ate like, I don't even remember, like 279 or something crazy like that. I could not eat that In many. like a 10 minute period. Like he was, he was just like, it I was insane. I could more than 20. It was insane. Like, and he crushed it. The, 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 the next closest guy was the former champion, and he was like 50 below him or something silly like that. It was insane. I watched it because Katina Eats Kilos was in it, and she only ate like a quarter of them, you know, compared to them. Well, guys. that's a lot of... Well, get me wrong. When I say a quarter, she ate like 150. Well, the you know challenges what I mean? so are just crazy. impressive because there's a time limit. Yeah. But the people who like have a really long time limit and just shovel a ton of food in their face it, is also unbelievable. They were all in, in, in impressive because a lot of them guys are actually all in shape and. Say, like, I mean, I'm the how type. How you of, eat like that? Like at cookouts, I eat like two hot dogs. I'm good. Right. You know, maybe I'll have some chips. Maybe I'll have some of this. Well, that's know? why it was going to be funny because we were going to. I don't have cook for cake. Cook a dozen hot dogs and we would probably both eat three and be like, "We're done." You know what I mean? I that's all we would get. We probably we would, we would not in ten minutes. That's not a long time. Ten minutes? They eat like thousands. Yeah, we would probably get four in. I'm waiting for someone to install a vacuum mm -hmm. into their mouth yeah. and then just go. So, all right, we went on long enough. You so know, I, that would be there you impressive. go. We got to turn the AC back on. It's very hot it's up there. It's getting hot. So happy 4th of July. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you all for subscribing. Hope Check out his channel, Less Cash More Mash. Link, link in the description. They have fun over there. Uh, he can't do it again. So, all right. With that being said, yeah, check it out on the 4th of July. We actually have something special coming on, too. So, And it's a big one. Yeah. It's already out. Yeah, it, it, well, it's not out. It comes out on, on the 4th. But, but it'll be out. It's, already, it's, it's already done, it's so it'll be there. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.